Welcome to the Micronic booth here at IPC Apex. I'm delighted to be joined by Thomas Stetter, who's the VP of the SVP Business Solutions. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Nice, nice to have you on our booth. Yeah. So, you know, you're always innovating. You've, you've just uh, come off in the last year, you've finished doing a lot of uh, a big string of acquisitions. Now you're consolidating that technology, building it into more uh, uh, complete solutions. And we've got one of them sitting here behind us. We've got literally three uh, pick and play systems that are ganged together to create uh, a high volume line. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, if you know Micronic from the past, now basically it's the first time you can put three Micronic pick and plays in one line. Mm -hmm. It's what we call HX, HX, EX uh, solution. Okay. And uh, the nice thing is if you have uh, today maybe two uh, uh, My 300 uh, DX, mm -hmm. uh, it's the same length, right. so you don't need more space, but you have a rated capacity of 100 CPH. That's incredible. Well, that's one. Actually, one of the first things I noticed was the smaller footprint. Yes. Uh, so, the, so the three machines equate to two of the old, older exactly. brand. Okay, yes. excellent. And a, a rating of a hundred thousand CPH. Yes. That really brings you up into the high volume market. Yeah, we have seen basically in the past where customers who are very successful in their markets mm -hmm. were growing into higher volumes. So some of them basically were more or less urged to mm -hmm. just keep Micronic for the for part of their uh, capacity and go with other brands. Now basically we can offer that they really stay with Micronic and we really have now real proven, real throughput and real speed uh, increase of 50 to 80 percent. So it's not only the rated speed but it's also then really proven. Now obviously with that uh, increased capacity and speed uh, the other parts of your full line solution has to keep up with that. Absolutely. Uh, so, so your your my 700 printers, uh, you're ganging them up in, in 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 series to to be able to cope with the capacity. Yeah, for higher volume customers, basically we have a proven solution as well that we can use the my 700 in a twin in a twin setup, so you can have it have them next to each other, uh, so that they can cope also with the higher speed. Mm -hmm. okay. Now the the VI. Uh, acquisition that you made about uh, 18 months ago, I think it was now, you started bringing in the, the SPI system where it's communicating with the jet printers and yes. the stencil printers. You've got three in a row there. Can, it seems to be coming quite uh, a popular setup to have a stencil printer with uh, some inspection device and then uh, looking for the, the missing paste, that type of thing, yes. and then followed by uh, a jet dispenser to make up for these these uh, defects, yes. um, do you believe this is going to be the, the the future? Yes, many of our customers are basically producing very high reliability uh, parts. Mm. Some of them cannot afford basically that you have any uh, defect. So, and we call this setup you were in uh, add-on or repair setup. So you can have a stencil printer. You basically make the more uh, more easy pads with the stencil. You have then the SPI uh, 3D inspection, mm -hmm. and then basically you make add-ons or repair via the jet printing. So add basically add that's perfect for if you want to, to increase your first pass yield and go in the direction of, of zero defect. When, when you say add-ons, you're referring to if there's been maybe a slight redesign in, in, the, in the board and they're putting in an, an extra pad or something like that. Yes. Yeah, it's an add-on. Exactly. Yeah. Looking further down the line uh, and maybe future plans for VI, uh, are you planning a, a post-placement system to try and do some self-correcting on the, on the pick and place? Yes, we are working, what we also show here at the end of, uh, of the booth, the My Pro line. Mm -hmm. Our vision is that uh, ultimately we will end up in a fully software controlled line setup mm -hmm. where you have common programming features, where basically the machines are talking to each other, where you have feed forward, feed backward loops. And of course, what we show here at the show with the combination of SPI with the My 700 is only the start. And this we realized already after 12 months of integration of VI. Right. We acquired VI just more or less 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are full speed now in our R&D roadmap to complete piece by piece this full line concept. And 
Talking about the, the, the software uh, controlling that, you, obviously you, you have signed up to the Hermes CFX uh, yes. platform. You're building your own software system on top of that, uh, and that will then integrate with any of the MES systems that are available in the market today. Yeah, to make it uh, simple, of course, it's, it's simplifying things because they're rather complex. But you can think about more an application layer where basically we want to develop it, we want to control it, we want to offer our customers uh, as ease of use as possible to run a line with as less manpower as needed. Uh, because that's what customers are telling us. Uh, it's very hard to find people. Um, and the connections then vertically into the ERP and MES, we will partner with, uh, with the companies already offering some, some good solutions and functionality on this layer. So, um, I suppose uh, it's, it's, it's always nice to see things evolving. What about the, the, the storage towers? I mean, you're, you're, you're bringing in some robotics or uh, AGVs uh, yes. to supply the line. Um, what's happening on that side? Yes, we are also full speed working on this one. Uh, basically, in China, we already have the first references case. We are, we are out at customers where a robot is in a nice setup of four or five towers around. Uh, helping to replace manpower also with, uh, with, uh, with machine. Uh, we will also show at the uh, largest industry fair uh, globally, the HMI, so the Hannover Fair, uh, a cooperation with some other companies. So basically this is the future, that material handling is often the bottleneck at customers and that of course the use of HEVs and robots can uh, can make things more smoothly and, and with, with less min power and also with higher quality. So are you, are you getting your MyPro software then uh, to send alerts back to the towers uh, so that they automatically bring uh, components to, to the line or is it going to be an alert to the, the operator? Uh, ultimately it will be fully automated. Uh, right now still of course in some cases there's an the interface to the operator. Well, you know, you've had a, a breakneck year. Uh. Absolutely. It was a great year, 2018. And yeah. when you're here at the show, you really feel that 2019 can really top it. Yeah. Besides of all the discussions we have in the economy. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's incredible how busy the show has been today. And it's, it's, it's quite heartening. It really is. Lovely to see you again, Thomas. Uh, we look forward to, of course, later in the year with the SMT Connect and more importantly, the Productronica coming. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be seeing some new innovations uh, coming out of the Micronic stable. Absolutely, there's much more to come. Stay tuned. <laughs>